we're going to update the Portuguese version of the home page of the Project Camelot website using SeaMonkey. SeaMonkey opens in the browser mode and I have it set to open the English version of the Project Camelot homepage which will need as a source of the new uh, updates. But first I'm going to navigate to the Portuguese home page which is this link and save it to the desktop using the shortcut keys control U for view page source and control S to save it to the desktop enter it's saved under the name pt.htm, which we'll have to change later. Now I close the download window and the page source window. And here's the HTML code for the Portuguese version of the Camelot homepage. I don't need this window anymore, so I'll return to the English version and scroll down to look for new updates and there is one I'm going to copy this January 22nd update into the Portuguese version so I'll open window composer this is the SeaMonkey Composer which allows me to make changes and then open pt.htm scroll down to the top of the what's new column the most recent update was for January 20th I want to insert the January 22nd update just before that so I'm positioning the cursor there and returning to the English version I'll carefully highlight only the part I want to copy right click copy return to the Portuguese version right click now in this case I need to use paste with formatting not without formatting if I want to transfer the correct formatting and there it is now I can translate it uh, I, it has all the correct formatting and the correct content in English including the link and possibly pictures I could just position the cursor and type over the English text or since it happens to already be translated here I can just copy this heading and paste it over the English version so I missed the last character the same with the date now it's you have to be very careful about highlighting if you extend the highlight a little too far even though it appears the same you may have included a hidden HTML tag and that can throw off the formatting so if, if that happens uh, you can always just paste into the middle of some formatted text like this and then delete the first and last characters changing 20 to 22 that completes the translation uh, that's it for today but I'm going to show you that you can also translate uh, uh, pardon me copy pictures suppose this was a new update
again, being careful to only highlight to exactly the end of the block I want to copy. And I'll paste it right here. And you can see that everything was copied ex exactly as it should be if, if I paste it with formatting. Finally, I can save it and close this composer window. And I'll also co close the SeaMonkey browser. And just as a test, I'll open the pt.htm file in my Firefox browser, which I normally use instead of SeaMonkey. And this should appear exactly as it will appear when it's uploaded to the server. You can see there's <coughs> the new January 20th update in English and the January 22nd update in Portuguese. So it looks great. Uh, the last thing would be to make sure the links work. Uh, that link works fine. And this one works fine also. So I've completed the translation. There's just one more thing to do, and that's to change the name of the HTML file. In order to uh, work properly, it needs to be named index.html and then be uploaded to the Portuguese subdirectory.